with Hewitt. What's up, Internet? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt once again. Today, I want to show you a technique I'm using to help build bigger shoulders. It's called mechanical drop sets. Now, drop sets typically involve performing an exercise until you reach complete fatigue, reducing the weight used, and then continuing to perform more repetitions until you reach fatigue again. This is great for completely exhausting the target muscle group. But mechanical drop sets involve choosing an exercise variation that gives you a better mechanical advantage. So you're not actually reducing the weight, you're just changing the exercise slightly so that it gives you better leverage, so that you can continue to perform more repetitions. Uh, for example, today I'm going to be doing lateral raises to fatigue, switching to upright rows, and then finishing with overhead presses. So you're going to start off with a very heavy weight for the, uh, the lateral raises, so that once you reach fatigue, it's still relatively challenging for, for the upright rows and then finishing with the strongest exercise variation, which is the overhead press. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you want to choose a weight for the lateral raises that barely allows you to complete eight to 10 repetitions. Now you want your form to be strict, but you don't have to be using a very slow rep speed. You don't have to be doing a slow tempo. You can perform a little bit quicker repetitions, so that allows you to use a relatively heavy weight. A weight that is very challenging to complete eight repetitions for your lateral raise. When you reach legitimate fatigue, when you're truly exhausted, you can't perform full repetitions with the lateral raise, immediately switch to the upright row. This is a wide grip upright row. You don't want the dumbbells to touch. You want to keep your elbows pointing straight out to the sides of the body so that you're targeting the medial deltoid. Okay? Now you want to slow your repetition speed down and pause at the top of each rep. Really squeeze the shoulders, squeeze your deltoids when you reach that top position. Okay, make it as challenging as you can with that same weight. Now because of the shorter lever arm here, you have a mechanical advantage. This is gonna allow you to continue to perform repetitions even though you completely fatigued the medial delts performing the side raise. When you reach fatigue, and the upright row, meaning you can't complete a strict repetition of an upright row full range of motion, immediately switch to the overhead press. Now with the overhead press, you want to press straight upwards, not bringing them in together. Right to the shoulders, straight up, control the negative. Now is the time to really slow your rep speed down, focus on getting more continuous tension, more time under tension. You should really feel your deltoids <laughs> on fire, even though this should be a fairly easy weight for an overhead press. Okay, control the negative, don't rest at the bottom, and continuous tension through every repetition. When you reach fatigue, legitimate fatigue, you can't perform a strict overhead press rep, switch to a push press, assisting the movement with leg drive. All right, these should feel a lot more challenging than they look. Once you reach fatigue with the lateral raise and upright row, even that relatively lightweight for the overhead press should feel quite tough. Your shoulders should feel like they're gonna explode. If you don't believe me, give it a try yourself and let me know what you think. And until next time, stay strong.